Hello everyone, I'm Urs Recher. Hi guys, my name is Jessica. We are both photographers for Brand Color. And I see Urs brought with him a very special light. It's called a ring flash. Mm -hmm. So Urs, what can you tell us about it? Well, I can tell you a lot about it, but let me start with the technical data. Okay. Uh, the ring flash is very strong. It takes power all the way up to 3,200 joules. And this means that even when the sun is out, when you have lots of ambient light, you can still dominate this uh, ambient light. Beside the strong flashlight, we have a modeling light of exactly 200 watts. And already now I can see a little sparkle in your eyes. So when I look through the camera, I can already guess what I will get later on when I shoot the picture with flashlight. Mm -hmm. um, then I would like to tell you a little bit how to use it. Um, some of my friends are using the ring flash as an off-camera flash. Okay. And in my eyes, this doesn't really make sense. You know, mm -hmm. I never really understood why they do it. Mm -hmm. So I use it as a ring flash, which okay. means the light is actually around the lens. I shoot through and in my eyes, that's how we should use the ring flash. Okay. Um, but um, to understand the light a little bit more precisely, I think it makes sense that we have a look at some pictures together. That would be perfect. Let's do that. Okay, we start with this picture of a, of a wedding dress I shot. And here the ring flash is the, the only light mm -hmm. and the main light. But I don't see any typical shadows. How come? You're probably referring to these contour shadows yeah. that you normally get with a ring flash. Um, but of course these Contour shadows, they only appear when there is no additional light on the background. And this situation, well, I don't have any additional flash, but I have daylight on the background. Mm -hmm. So that's why these shadows are not there. Okay. But um, I see a beautiful glow. Really stunning. Yes, that's one of the key points, you know, why I use the ring flash. Uh, because the ring flash is small. Yeah. So, and a small light shaper is a hard light. And hard lights, they create some shine, some glow on skin or on textile. Mm -hmm. So the ring flash makes sure that this silk wedding dress looks like silk okay. and is not amazing. turned into cotton or something matte. That's amazing. But now, for example, if I want to have a fashion shoot mm -hmm. and I don't want shiny skin, yes. that glow, how can I prevent that? Is there another option I can use with a ring flash? There certainly is, yes. I mean, if you shoot a portrait and it's, you get too much glow on the skin, yeah. what do you do? You take probably a bigger softbox. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't have a bigger ring flash, but we have adapters oh, that make yes. the ring flash yes. bigger, like the beauty adapter. So we just take the standard reflector away, put the beauty adapter on, done. Oh, wow. Bigger size, less aggressive, less shine. Perfect. Perfect. As we talk about accessories, we have other accessories as well, like honeycomb grids in three different light angles. And they are simply mounted like that. Mm -hmm. And now the amazing thing is that independent from the camera angle, I can adjust the angle of the ring flash. Awesome. So I can direct the light to the spot where I actually need the light best. That's awesome. It is. And if you need more light, there is a power adapter as well. And the power adapter doubles the light output wow. almost. You get almost a full f-stop more with the power adapter. Wow. And if you need the power adapter and you want the light control from the honeycomb grids, we have honeycomb grids as well for the power adapter. Great. But now as well, do you only use your ring flash as a main light or could you use it somehow mm. differently? No, to be honest, I use it most of the time as a fill-in light. Okay. Um, let's have a look at this shot of a guy I shot in the studio. And if you look at the light, I mean, the main light are probably the two strong backlights. Mm -hmm. But 90% of the figure are in the shadow. Mm -hmm. And so let's say this turns my fill-in light uh, almost to the most important light in my shot. So I have to make sure that my fill-in light does not create any additional shadows on the model, even when he has some arms or hands or jewelry, whatever in front of the body. And the ring flash is doing exactly this for me. Because the light is coming from so close to the lens mm -hmm. that it infiltrates everything, nothing remains in the dark, everything gets a little bit of light and exactly the amount of light I want. Wow, that makes sense. 
But now, for, could you also use that technique with still life, or do you only use it for portraitures? No, I use it for still lifes as well. Okay. Um, it's not a typical still life, but I just uh, recently shot uh, a car interior. Yeah, crazy. And um, in this setup, the ring flash was the first light I mounted, and it's like an all-over light. Okay. So the ring flash on, and then you have a little bit of light everywhere, even down on the pedals where it's very dark. The light infiltrates the steering, mm -hmm. nothing remains in the dark, and then I just did add some accents with soft boxes coming through the windshield, coming through the windows. That's pretty much it. Just below the seat, there's an additional ring flash that added some effects um, under the driver's seat. It really looks great. So I really think a ring flash could make a photographer's life much easier. It is a fantastic light. It is a fantastic light. If you use it as a main light or as a fill-in light, it's really a, it's a problem solver. It's, awesome. I really, really love it. Yeah. I think I convinced you as well, yes, and uh, I hope uh, you guys liked it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.